Um, How you doing guys? My name is Gerard. I run this channel on the Gerard's Neighborhood. What I'll be doing now is uh, showing you my plants that I have. Starting with... Calathea. It's a uh, low light plant. Uh, doesn't like to be watered a lot. I see these in casinos a lot. Very showy plant. Texture on the leaves look awesome. I got this guy for like six ninety nine from my local nursery in the area. There's about six maybe that I go to frequently. I'll show you videos on what I what I do when I go shopping for plants, but this is my Calathea. It's looking pretty good. We're just gonna run by them, but general, this is a finicky plant. It's pretty small. Um, I'll show you a video on how to how you know maintenance this guy, but this is how she is. I had this for about a month now. I haven't had any problems. I think I, I believe it likes high humidity. And definitely, I have, I'll i show you, uh, I have a humidity gauge in my living room. Um, and I kind of keep it away from the, the window a lot. I'm about maybe a foot away. I haven't seen any browning of the leaves or anything like that. So, that's one of the guys I got. Another guy here, yeah. variegated Dracaena, I guess lemon, lemon lime or something like that. They say. I'll put the description. But she's looking quite nicely. I had to trim this up a little bit. I got this on clearance. Most of my plants are on clearance. Loads. I don't work for Lowe's, but I go there a lot. It's about four in my area. <laughs> but I buy them about 75% off. So I maybe have got this guy for $2. It's about a, um, it's about, I would say, three, maybe six inches, a little bit nine, maybe. I don't have a mirror, but this, it's getting good shape. I just had to get rid of the brown leaves and, um, been feeding a little bit. That's a little brown spot which I'll probably get rid of. But other than all in all, it's been it's been okay. And I had this for about a year, and just watching it bounce back, giving it uh, some TLC. Next one guy here. This is a Dracaena, small. I know I got this for a dollar, so it was in bad shape. Um, I don't think I had any pests, but I was feeding it. And as you can see, the tips are browning. I was feeding it with a low dose fertilizer, and there was probably some fertilizer pellets in the uh, in the potting soil. I didn't get rid of, so with those combined, I got the leaves burning. So. I have been cutting back on the feeding, but this is a low light plant. Also, gets very large. I see a lot of see a lot of big specimens out there in offices, dentist offices, things like that. But uh, I got this for a dollar. Nice, potted it up. I actually put the cinnamon on there. I put cinnamon on my on all my plants, um, just because it smells good. I've been in a lot of houses where they people have plants and it has like a distinct smell. I don't know if it's coming from the soil, but I just put cinnamon in there because it's antifungal and it's a rooting hormone also. I believe you can use cinnamon as the same thing as like rooting powder. But that's my Dracaena here, which we're working on. And like I said, this was a rescue plant. I love going to Lowe's and snatching up their rescue plants that they're about to get rid of for like five. I don't spend over ten dollars, maybe a dollar, then to bring the plants back. That's I rarely buy like a, a 
regular price print, to be honest with you. I like bringing them back. This is a croton. It was in bad shape, very bad shape when I got it. I know I got this, once again, discounted. But she took off. You can see the leaf spacings. It's getting a lot of light, getting a lot of TLC. I've been fertilizing it. Um, it's just doing quite well. I hope you guys can see that. But it's really doing well. Um, I'm probably going to water it. The soil's pretty dry. I've been holding off because I have been seeing like small fungus gnats just flying around. So I said, let me just back off on the watering. Because once again, I have a humidity gauge with a humidifier I use. The humidity gauge is, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, too much light. Is that 50%? It usually gets higher than that. But I have a fish tank in the back, as you see. It's my koi. I want to put outside when they get a little bigger. And I missed almost probably twice a day. Well, every two days. High humidity in this uh, in this uh, house here. <sighs> Aloe plant rescue for a dollar. I actually bought four of these. The leaves a little burnt up, but I potted it up, gave it some soil. Brand new soil. I want to see how she uh, responds. I have another one outside, which is not doing too well. Um, probably going to take off that leaf there because it's not looking too good. One here. Uh, I'm probably going to take that off. But this is an aloe plant. It's not a hybrid. It's just a regular aloe. Small plastic. Uh, we also got that. This plant from Target. I mean, cleaner for maybe 48 cents. It's not that bad. I love getting stuff discounted. Got this guy here. I gotta get the name of it. I'll post it there. But uh, I don't water it a lot. I know it likes low light, medium to uh, low light not a lot of worms because it in the bulbs it holds water so I back up on the watering of course it has a hole in the bottom I, I bought body's pots nice but also take them from the fake plants I take the, uh, the fake plants out of the containers sanitize the containers drill a hole in them and reuse them because usually the fake plants have better containers some odd, but they're expensive because they got the fake in there but i wait till they get you know clearance snatch them up and put something live in them it's a nice container everybody likes that one but this is a nice guy i had for about two years now probably do a video on him i want to do a video on all of my plants which I have been feeding it tap water and I just leveled up my, my game because I've been getting holes in the leaves and I wonder why I was getting holes in the leaves and it's because of the water from the tap water so I've been putting it in a uh, pitcher overnight I'll show you the pitcher that I use to water my plants um, this is also a nice container. I'll tell you, like this container is pretty funky. It has like a Game of Thrones vibe to it. But this was a rescue plant too. It wasn't doing well at all. I was questioning him about this, but he bounced back. Fell in love with me. This was probably a dollar. And now, and it had very low leaves. I had to trim it all the way back, but she's stretching for light. And I know I need to water it, which I'll be doing today. For very, very, very nice.
this begonia here I brought back and I was proud of myself that I brought this guy back. You can't even tell it's for a dollar. Got it for a dollar, guys. A dollar. What's better than a dollar? Donkey's tail. Yeah, I can say it better how it's... This is where it started at because I've got this guy. I actually bought this regular price. But you can see the growth and the difference of the color, I believe. You see it's kind of a darker darker green here and it's a lighter green here um, but she's showing growth she likes me too hopefully we can get that going a little bit longer in this nice little this was um, this container had I believe a fake plant in there I can't stand anything fake I'm a fake hater I don't like fake stuff long long story short but she's doing well starting to hang on me Probably repot it when it probably next year. See how she goes. Pretty nice plant. Sansevieria cylindrica. I got this guy from IKEA. IKEA has great plants, and they do take care of them. They take care of them well. It's been doing pretty well for me. I keep it in uh, decent light also. See how I give it optimal. You, I, I hear you can trash these plants. You can not water them and things like that. But I don't do that with this guy. I just want to see growth. I want to see it get bigger. But this is another guy in a pot I'll probably change. I'm gonna do a video on the care on this. Doesn't I know it doesn't like a lot of water. Don't water your plants a lot, guys. Of course, you've been hearing that. Um, drainage is also key. And we'll see how she goes with this. This is another. Ficus I have. I got a little bridge on there. It's a nice plant pot from Vietnam. Oh, you see that? Handmade in Vietnam. <laughs> Vietnam. I didn't go to Vietnam. Wish I did, but this has nice structural visual pleasures to it. It, actually, I got this from Ikea maybe five years ago during the winter in North Jersey. Um, I was at a friend's house, actually a family member's house up there. And uh, when I brought it back, I think it was in the car and it was cold. All the leaves dropped on it and I had to uh, bring them back. And you can see she's pretty much diving. I, I've been trimming it up, trying to make it look like a bonsai. But all in all, she is bouncing back. And like I said, I had it for about five years, five, six years. And this is a view with the, the bridge on it. I don't know what that is, but pretty nice plant. Got this from Ikea. This reminds me of Karate Kid. When I think of Banzai, because I'm an 80s baby. Uh, what else we got? Wandering Jew. She's starting to get some dust on her. It's not looking too good. I don't know why she actually bought this regular price because I just I'm curious about them. See how to get them going. But we got a lot of leaf. Heard it grows very fast. I don't know why they call it a wandering Jew, but we're not going to get into that. But this is one of the guys who do a video on the use and care of that. In case anybody wants to check that out. 